Hi cousins, I just wanted to get on here and say welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today's topic is learn to start betting on yourself. Let me say that again. Learn to start betting on yourself. And what I mean by that is take them chances. If you want to quit your job, quit your job. Especially if it's not benefiting you. If you want to lose weight, lose that weight. Especially if you're unhappy with yourself. If you want to take social media seriously, start taking serious, start taking it seriously so that you could become a content creator. We cannot want these things if we do not bet on ourselves. And we cannot expect anyone else to bet on us other than yourself. Like you you may want someone to be in your corner to cheer you on, but if you don't believe it, it would never you would never achieve it. My bad. If you don't believe it, you would never achieve it. So learn to start betting on yourself. Take these chances. Take these chances. Like I've been saying, I've been scared for so long to start this channel. I created it in 2018. 2018, I created it. That's when I started my business. I'm like, I'm going to start posting cooking content. But then I got in my head. Who's going to watch your stuff? Nobody's going to be there. Um, the people that you ask to support you is not going to support you. Um, so I just started it. I never posted not one single video. My first video I actually posted was the beginning of this year. And it was a bit discouraging because I'm putting all this time, but also <laughs> my content wasn't that good because I didn't have my camera positioned in the correct way. So it was, you know, it was all over the place. But also I felt like I was putting out good content, but I wasn't getting on views. I actually didn't start getting views on my channel and start gaining subscribers was when I really decided to go hard and start betting on myself because I felt as though if I don't take this chance right now and bet on myself, I'm always going to wish or think of the what if. What if I did this? What if I took that chance on myself and not gave up? What would have happened? So you have to keep on going. I know this can be discouraging. Anything, any goal that you're trying to go after, whether it's you wanting to move to somewhere and you don't have no family or friends. So now you're getting in your head about that because now you're scared to move to this new town, this new city, this new state because you don't have nobody that's going to be there. You're going to eventually start making friends. You're going to... If you're a social person, um, once you start working, you know, you're going to meet people. If you want to do content creation, stop worrying about the views. I always, and I still do right now, I still worry about, like, why my numbers isn't going up. Like, I put all this time and effort into this content and my views isn't going nowhere i'm stuck at 50 i'm stuck at 100 i'm stuck at 200 but i know eventually once i keep on posting it's going to get to the point or where it need to be um god willing a law it's all law you know um it's gonna it's gonna take off but also i'm learning to bet on myself just like i took the chance of me buying my home five years ago everybody was like i don't think you should do it you should stay in your apartment you should do this you shouldn't move over that area but my mindset was if i don't do it now i'm never gonna do it i'm gonna be come complacent in the space that i'm at um and i also wanted to always have something of my own because as i stated in my previous video I grew up in the projects, so I always wanted to own my own place. 
So I went after it and I achieved that goal. I got my credit together and I bought my home. Um, and then I also, a few years ago, 2020 or no, 2022, still in the midst of, you know, the pandemic. I'm like, I want to go back to school. Everybody like, oh, I don't think you should do it. You already got your own business. But I wanted to learn the business aspect of learning how to manage money, learning how to when I when I get in a hole of my business, how to come out of that. Because it was plenty of times during the pandemic I had like good sales. I was taking off. I was doing even before the pandemic, I was doing all these pop up shops. I'm selling dinners every weekend and I'm making good money. But when the money slowed down, now I got to start working for someone. So um, I took that chance and went back to school, even though people was telling me not to. You have to go with your own mind and bet on yourself. Learn to bet on yourself and things will be better. Don't let nobody else get in your head. Do what you need to do and do what's best for you. So, yeah. Learn to bet on yourself. That's all I wanted to say. All right. See you later. Bye, cousins.